Okay, welcome back to Inside Flicks. We're going to be doing our weekly box office report. All right, Rich, tell us which films ranked in the top five this past box office weekend. The number one film in America is Halloween Ends, earning just over $40 million. Coming in number two is Smile with $12.5 million. Coming in number three is Lyle Lyle Crocodile with $7.3 million. Coming in number four is The Woman King with $3.7 million. And rounding out the top five is Amsterdam with $2.7 million. All right, let's talk about Halloween Ends. Uh, this came in lower than they expected. I think uh, early predictions from the studios was that it was going to make around 50 to 60. Yeah, it had a, a big opening on Thursday night and Friday. The, the, the it, it made like 20 million and then boom, it dropped big time on Saturday and then Sunday it dropped even more. So, yeah, it, it, it was early predicted to be uh, uh, just as good as the last one. Well, it seems like word of mouth. I mean, the movie didn't do well with critics or with even audience scores. Yeah, and although it was the last chapter and everyone should see a last chapter of any trilogy, mm-hmm. but um, uh, it's, yeah, the word of mouth is just basically saying, watch it on Peacock. And that's what everybody most likely did. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I, th- I, th- I think that's probably about right. Well, I would say that Smile, you know, this is their it's Smile's third week and it still holds strong. So I think Smile also took a, chunk out of that number too and also you got uh, uh barbarian which is you know doing very well still mm-hmm. and terrifier too you know like it or not that is a cult movie and i think that has taken a little bit of the audience from halloween ends if you're a horror fan you got a lot of options to watch in, in theaters. Not, but not just that but there's also a ton of uh re-releases of uh classic uh, horror films in theaters right now as well yeah i agree smile is uh it only dropped a little over 30 percent total uh, worldwide is 137 million so that's that's uh impressive yeah i would say smile is probably the bigger hit or the bigger surprise hit than let's say a halloween ends because i think next week halloween ends is going to have a huge drop for its yeah. second week oh definitely i think it's going to be the biggest one uh probably in uh, since bros <laughs> yeah i think it's gonna have a huge like 50 to maybe even 60 uh, percent drop next week yeah which is a, a damn shame because the movie should have been a lot better than what it was yeah i mean i even i even kind of i like the movie for what it was trying to do but even what i liked that it was trying to do like it still didn't even commit to that like it could even that idea could have been better <laughs> it's, it's a sloppy movie <laughs> <laughs> i uh, rich tell us the rest of the top 10 Coming in number six is Don't Worry Darling. Uh, number seven is Barbarian. Number eight is Terrifier 2. Number nine is Bros. And number 10 is Top Gun Maverick. All right, let's look at what movies are coming out this week. Rich, tell us what movies are coming out wide release on Friday. Uh, Dwayne Johnson's favorite movie, is, according to him, is uh, <laughs> the Black Adam, which is opening wide this week. And also the George Clooney, Julia Roberts film. Ticket to Paradise. All right, so Black Adam, big superhero movie from uh, WB and DC. I think the studio has predicted that this is going to be around sixty-five to seventy million. Uh, what is your predictions for this uh, movie? I'm, I'm going over. I'm yeah. going over. I'm yeah. going over. Yeah, I think uh, eighty. I think eighty, eighty-three million. And is that because people are are, are been waiting to see this movie? You know, it's good, it's good. no, not even that. I think it's just because this isn't going on digital. <laughs> this isn't going on a streaming service. You you can only watch this on theaters. Mm-hmm. It's not the most appealing superhero movie. I'm sure people would much rather be getting another DC character, or I'm sure people would much rather be getting a uh, Black Panther a little sooner like when black panther comes out that's going to be you know that's going to be you know o- over 100 million o- opener but this is an this is going to um hopefully bring uh the box office back well I, I definitely think dwayne johnson has done a really remarkable job promoting this movie he has gone everywhere uh he has said that this is like like rich was saying this is his favorite movie of all time <laughs> Uh, it's most likely this is the, mo- the most important movie of his career. Yeah, it's going to most likely turn out to be one of his best openings ever. So I don't disagree with you. I think it's going to be around that number, but I I would say I would say on the low end of that, uh, around sixty to sixty five. Yeah, I believe it's going to be over sixty. I think it's going to get at least a a forty million dollar uh, Friday opening, and uh, probably yeah forty thirty. Yeah, it could be up to up to like ninety million dollars uh, opening weekend, and we should say that Joker debuted around the same time at ninety six. So it's not impossible. And this isn't rated R, and there's no um, 
there's no competition, especially since uh, uh, everyone was so disappointed by Halloween. And I'm I'm hearing a uh, fairly uh, decent uh, um, uh, screening uh, results uh, on the film so far. Uh, everyone's in agreement that it's not one of the best superhero films, but it's the best thing Dwayne Johnson has done since you know you know for a while. Well, yeah, everyone's saying that this is like the um, uh, the most entertaining Dwayne Johnson film to come out in a long time time, and that it's um, really action packed. And I think. That's kind of what uh, we want from the movie, right? I, that, I don't, I don't need much from Black Adam. <laughs> I don't need a deep story from Black Adam, even though Dwayne Johnson might think it is. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Ticket to Paradise now. This is George Clooney and Julia Roberts' new rom com. They're kind of reuniting again. Uh, this is definitely counter programming to mm-hmm. to Black Adam. Uh, you know, like Bros. This is a rom com. Is this going to do well with U.S. audiences? Well, well, what is well? What what, what does that's this movie good, have to make? That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I know it's or has already opened in internationally. It's doing decent enough. Yeah, it's doing pretty well overseas. But like, what does it have to make over here? Like, I would say forty million would be really good. I don't think it's going to do that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do that either. I mean, what, what, how much do you think it's going to make this weekend? I'll, I'll go say thirty. I don't think it's going to be okay. that much. I think it's yeah, going to be th- around twenty. Yeah, I think it's gonna be less than that. Also, yeah. um, I think it's gonna be like. Um, I mean, it's definitely going to be competing with second week of Halloween ends, which yeah. most likely going to do less than twenty. I, I think oh. Halloween is going to beat uh, Ticket to Paradise. Well, oh, a lot of people, are, yeah. a lot of people are going to go into to Black Adam and, and see. Oh, it's sold out. Um, let's just watch Ticket to Paradise. Let's just see Halloween because it's the Halloween season. Oh, hell no. <laughs> or let's just watch uh, Terrifier 2 where yeah. everyone's throwing yeah. up and <laughs> vomiting <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect for the family. <laughs> uh, let's get into limited release. Rich, which movies are coming out in limited release? Opening up in limited releases is The Banshees of Inishirin and After Sun. Yeah, so The Banshees of Inishirin is the new black comedy from Martin McDonald. This got a lot of buzz uh, during the festivals. Recently, mm-hmm. Venice, TIFF, all those. Um, mm-hmm. It's and most likely it's a front runner for best pitch of the year, or at least a contender. I think yeah, it's going to do pretty well. Like like ta- like Tar, like uh, Triangle of of Sadness. It's go- I'm most likely it's going to do pretty well in limited release. I think there's going to have a huge per screen average for this movie. I, I believe so too. I think. With, I mean, when they release these in. Um and limited releases, it's usually in the right territories, they, like the L.A. and New York. I mean, they know where they know where uh, their audience is. Yeah, everyone is saying, everyone that's seen it is saying that Martin, this is one of Martin McDonald's best films of his career. Yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons I want to, want to see the movie, just because the re-teaming of them from in Bruges. All right, let's look at what's coming out on streaming. Rich, tell us which films are going to be available to stream this week. Coming out on Netflix is The School for Good and Evil. Also on Netflix is The Stranger. On Apple TV is Raymond and Ray. And VHS 99 on Shudder. So The School for Good and Evil is uh, the new Paul Feig. He's uh, he's taking a stab at a uh, fantasy young adult fair. Mm-hmm. This stars uh, uh, Charlize Theron and uh, Michelle Yeoh. Carrie Washington and, uh, and Lawrence Fishburne. And uh, mostly it centers around a bunch of kids at school. Yeah, it looks like a Harry Potter kind of, uh, well, let's just say ripoff. And, uh, <laughs> okay, the, yeah, that's yeah. Like, yeah. The Stranger is an Australian crime thriller for, uh, that stars Joe Edgerton and Sean Harris. This looks interesting mm-hmm. because I think this is kind of loosely based on a true story. Uh, something about is catching a murderer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think some there's a, there's a detective angle to it. Uh, Raymond and Ray, this is uh, the... the First, I, think, I believe the first on on screen pairing of Ewan McGregor and Ethan Hawke. Oh, that one. Okay. Yes, yeah. this is like they play half brothers who have to reunite for their father's funeral. Mm-hmm. Well, it's produced by Alfonso Cuarón and uh, directed by Rodrigo Garcia, and uh, that's going to be available on Apple TV. But VHS ninety nine, uh, Raymond, you're a big fan of the series. Not necessarily. Um, I've seen a, I've seen a few installments. Uh, they're hit and miss, but um, I'll, I'll probably be checking this out because I mean, why not? So, so those are the movies you could check out on streaming. Uh, thank you for watching Inside Flicks. We'll be back next week with more box office results. 
And we'll see how Black Adam did. All right. Thank you for watching Inside Flicks. Bye-bye.